welcome to Boring Mastery, everybody. Awesome to have you here. It's Vaughn. Neat feet are hard to beat. Today, I'm going to talk to you about articulation of your feet. This is a really cool and important subject, but if you're not a fan of the page yet, make sure you like the page, like our YouTube channel. Good announcement to make right now. We're just crossing over the threshold of 12,000 on the Facebook page and 8,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you for this amazing milestone. If you comment boom below right now and you stay with me to the end, I'm going to pick one of you for a lucky prize for our celebration. <laughs> anyway, so in our uh, recent episode, I went through posture mastery. So one of the really important tenements that you must focus on to produce um, good quality movement and power. We, we all know in dancing, well, depending on when you've started your dancing journey in Quest, uh, that posture is paramount. Now, what is often neglected or forgotten about is footwork. You would be stunned how many people come to my studio and have no idea of footwork. And I mean like, they're like, you're so advanced, you're so technical, my God, it's just a group class. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, we're talking about heels and toes. This is nothing compared to what the technique should be. Like there's way more involved. And so the overarching principle of your dancing revolves around neat feet are hard to beat, right? So it's it meaning that all your musicality, everything that you do to produce incredible movement, to having the control that you wish, and to be able to express the rhythm of the music properly, it starts with the feet. And so you wanna think of musical feet, you wanna think of articulating your feet, you wanna think of these as the paintbrush on which the floor is a canvas and you're drawing a masterpiece. That's how important feet are. And it gets neglected because, he, I mean, let's be real, if you're really serious about your dancing and you're trying to improve it and you're, you're a dance sport competitor or you're a medalist and you're like, I want to be like next level in my dancing, you know what ends up happening is you get confused with everything. It's like, oh my God, I've got so much to think about. Where's my center? Where's my balance? What's my choreography? How do I lead? How do I follow? What's CBM? What's my sway? What's the amount of turn? What's the alignment? What's my rise and fall? Ah, it's like so much information. Oh, by the way, what about the feet, right? Well, all of the, a lot of those principles are related to how your feet work. We just forget about it. And so the better you are uh, in terms of the way you articulate your feet, the strength of your ankles and your feet, the more you're going to enjoy dancing fundamentally. And it is often overlooked. Now, another thing I remember our coach saying when we moved to England to pursue our dream of dancing with being surrounded by the best in the world and having access to the top coaches and really, really studying dancing at the highest level. Uh, <laughs> a coach, Anne, said to us, Vaughn, darling, you'd be stunned how many, how many high level dancers I have to take back to feet because they just, they don't get good, they don't have good footwork. They don't have good foot placement, but their movement is excellent, right? They can move well. But they said for us to get to that next level in their movement, what did they have to fix? Their feet. I remember interviewing Jeffrey Hearn before he left us, and he was a pioneer in Dance Sport International and DSI and in the, the monthly letter service videos, which for those of you who don't know, um, were amazing teaching tools uh, when they were around. And I remember interviewing him, and unfortunately I lost the interview, which is a real shame. And he was talking about feet, and he was doing a video with world champions, and he was saying, I said, wow, they've just got such great feet. And he sort of paused, and he looked at me and he said, we had to reshoot a lot of things because they were doing incorrect footwork. And they were world champions. Like, I mean, reigning champions, undefeated. And it was like, really? Wow. And he said, yeah, and, but as you, as you improve your footwork, you improve your dancing even more. And I was like, wow, man. So if it's good enough for that, we can all get better. Now, the question then is, what should you focus on? All right, you got to identify the problem to start with. So first of all, where are you weakest? So if your feet, for example, if they roll outward, that's weak feet. If they roll inward, that's weak feet, You've, the muscles are trained wrong. So I have a student whose feet turn inwards and I said from day one, I said, look, I love you, but I don't love your feet. We've got to fix your feet. And, and it, I was born this way. It's like, you know, I, I have um, compassion for that, but don't give in to that, right? You've got to train yourself. You've got to focus hard. You've got to do more work than the average person to have better feet because with that, you're going to have stability. You know, years later, you can see her uh, getting more confidence because she has more balance because her feet are stronger, which is permitting her to do better steps, more quality movement and higher level choreography as she progresses. And it's so exciting to see because this is the development that we want. And it makes her love dancing more, right? And so if we're at a, ever at a block, 
in our dancing, it actually comes back to basic movement. It comes back to basic structure of what makes a good dancer. So our postural position, meaning our spine, our ribs, like where is that in time and space? We look at the way we hold our balance points. We then look at the footwork, right? And these are the fundamentals. And if we can get the footwork and the posture and the timing together, that's what you notice improves your dancing at a very elementary level. Okay, so now even at a high level, if you come back to it, you can take the next step. One of the cool, best compliments I had in my professional career came from our coach. And th this is one of the reasons why we, we spent, we took dancing the way we did and it took us years to get over to England. Um, cause first of all, they're not even going to look at you if you're not in the top division in your own country, really, cause they're so busy. Um, and you won't be really taken that seriously because you haven't earned your stripes. But one of the best compliments I got was I've never had to correct your footwork. I was like, winning at life. Like I was like, we looked at each other and went, oh, yes. And that's where that conversation about you'd be stunned at how many I have to correct of good names. And so for us, that was the win because our coach, Penny, um, who for many, many years, we learned from Alex Moore, one of the top Borum coaches in the world. He was one of the founding, you know, people who created the Borum technique, the actual book, the structure of the book. Of course, there were other people that contributed, um, but he was a real pioneer. Now, it was always about footwork with him. So for 10 years, she learned from him. And so when we learned from Penny, Penny was like solid on footwork. It was like, you, you know, your feet stink, you, you know, not... Not like that. Your footwork, rubbish, right? You've got to fix your feet. Why? Because we realize the, 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 the smartness of that, the, the discipline of doing five privates a week and focusing, of course, on posture and frame and fixing steps and learning steps and getting syllabus right, but it was always to do with our feet. And we really did find that was our secret ingredient to making our dancing better because the more we could articulate our foot, and articulation is that is the, the capacity and the ability and the beauty to which you move uh, the leg uh, and the feet, of course, um, the movement improved as a quality. Now, that doesn't mean you forget the other principles. You know, if your posture, like we talked about before, that muscular chain, if that collapses, then when you go to move your feet, like you can still move well, but you're going to find it's the least efficient movement and it's not beautiful, right? So what are we going to focus on? Okay. So depending on your weakness, a couple of the main things you can focus on is developing strong arches, okay? So the mid part of your foot. Now, if you can get a stronger arch by doing certain exercises, like you can, you can put a terror band around your toe and like do like curls, but you've got to have long toes, not crunching the toes. They've got to be lengthened and then forward. You strengthen the muscles underneath and you can do each individual toe. Um, what you want to feel when you do, when you dance is to get a rotation. So articulation, let's look at it very simply that we, if we point our foot, and I've got boring shoes on at the moment, but if I was to point my right foot, that's, I'm not pointing with all my toes on the floor. I'm actually rotating the thigh, elevating the ankle, and lengthening the toes downward in my shoe. So I'm lengthening to the floor, not clawing like a crab. So that's an articulation, right? Now I can then rotate it out from the thigh, bring it in on the inside edge of the toe. So I've got to really think about the, the, the actual parts of the foot I'm using, not just uh, not just moving my foot inwards. And then I can then rotate it out from the knee again. So that articulation definitely plays a part with the lower legs, right? But you want to feel that your movement is, is, I like the term licking the floor. It's like in, in ballet, there's this feeling of when you, when you get your foot to come up on the inside that you feel the toes lengthening and they lick up the thigh. And so if we were to go to move, you don't ever just want to go step, step in Latin, and in Borum, you don't just want to go, well, walk, right? There's an articulation. There's a, there's a beauty towards the way the feet brush through and then a drive out into a movement. And through that, you create a qu better quality action. So if I'm doing a Borum drive, my, I start on my toe, I go to a ball of foot, then a flat foot, and then the heel lifts or is in contact with the floor just as it passes the toe. That's a very specific and trained movement that creates, if you think about my movement coming from back here, that creates beautiful flight, okay? And my center, which we talked about last week, the pelvis, can move in coordination with that and create a beautiful movement or action, and it will feel amazing. If I'm doing Latin, it's the same thing. It's this midway point is everything, and I'm thinking of that articulation going from the inside edge of toe, to the ball of foot and you know, at a basic level, you'll go ball flat and you'll move your center. But 
if you're at a high level, you might move using an extended walk. You might use the outside edge of your foot and push it a little further, right? But when you finish, the back toe doesn't slide. And you're, what are you doing? You're rotating right out to the inside edge of the toe. And so the point is, is that you're thinking about your feet the whole time. You're, you're thinking like you're, you're in Latin, your body rhythm is, gonna, is going to prepare you to move. And then depending on the dance, depending on the, the steps you're doing, there'll be a certain action your body produces. Like for example, in rumba, you will settle your body weight from your shoulder to your hip and you'll create a hip settling action and a rotation and that will move you forward and then you can step. In all of that action, feet. You know, you've got to really let those feet come alive. If you're doing ballroom, it's the same idea. Your body prepares maybe through a bit of, an, uh, a, bit of a sort of feeling of rising up through the body, not very high, but like a bit of movement where the lady gives you her body and you release the weight down, well, not down, you swing it up. So as you take that preparation movement, right, you're swinging the, the feet through the floor and the legs through the floor, but your body weight is now able to fly over into the movement, so to speak. All right, now those are subjects for another time. Part of Bora Mastery Academy, we go right into depth on foot mastery, posture mastery, uh, like how to, how to perform, how to train properly and successfully for all of this stuff to work, weight principles, uh, a bit of lead and follow and exercises. So that's part of it. If you're interested, go to boremastery.tv. Just get on our email list. Doesn't matter what you sign up for. Um, there's, you know, we'll send out an offer soon when we reopen it. But what you want to focus on as a tip for this next week is to focus on footwork articulation, to strengthen your feet and to get more flexibility in your feet. So if you can't point very well, your goal is to point better. If you um, are clawing your toes, to lengthen your toes. If your feet roll in, to start to strengthen the muscles up the, up the uh, tibia and fibia and to really get your calves in stronger as well and to really be aware of uh, having stronger arches. If your feet are rolling out, uh, it's the same problem. You're going to want to strengthen your feet properly. And you can do that through very basic movements, all right? But you have to be aware, first of all, that that's a problem. And the reason you want to develop it is, is very important. It's so you can enjoy the music more. You can be more expressive. You can have more vitality on the floor. And you can love dancing that little bit more. Because isn't that what it's all about? So although we need the technique, and to go back to those people that would come into the studio and be like, you're so technical, just talking only about footwork. It's like, yes, that's not technical yet. Um, it is the reason you're going to be able to dance at a higher level in your own self. You're going to enjoy your movement a lot more and it permits you the freedom. So whilst technique can feel like, oh, I don't really want to do that, it is what gives you the freedom to enjoy to dance. Okay, so keep that in mind. It gives you the freedom to enjoy and express the movement and the rhythm. Okay, so if you've loved this uh, video, Please give it a like, share, and a comment. Visit boramastery.tv or .com for a free trainer and planner. And this is Vaughn, and uh, let me know how you're getting along with these tips and tricks and what you're going to fix. Thank you.